everyone, welcome to another story time. I thought today we could do stories about one of my favorite things, birthdays. We're going to start with a story called Don't Wake Up the Tiger by Britta Teckenthal. Here we go. Don't Wake Up the Tiger. Shh. Tiger is fast asleep and we shouldn't wake her up. But she's in the way. Whatever will the other animals do? They're in a hurry, and they've got a big bunch of balloons to carry, too. Oh dear, how will they get past without waking her up? Luckily, Frog has a very good idea. Frog is using his balloon to float over Tiger. Can you help make sure Tiger stays asleep? Let's pet her nose. That always works. Oh, stay asleep, Tiger. Oh, good! Tiger is still asleep. Now it's Fox's turn. But look, Fox is too heavy for his balloon. And the balloon is dropping lower and lower. Blow! Blow as hard as you can! <gasps> Fox made it across. Good job. It's Tortoise's turn now. He's looking a bit worried because Tiger is waking up. Let's pet Tiger's tummy. Oh, there. Nice and gentle. That will help her sleep. Yay! Tortoise got across. He couldn't have done it without us. But now it's Mouse's turn. And she's shaking so much that she lets go of her balloon. Oh, no! She's falling right onto Tiger's head. Quick! Let's sing a lullaby and rock the book, too. Everyone knows that tigers love to be rocked to sleep. Go to sleep, little tiger. Phew, that was close, wasn't it? Stork is the last animal to cross. She can step over tiger with her long legs. But be careful, Stork. Watch out for that balloon. Pop! Oh, dear. Tiger is wide awake. That means it's time for her surprise birthday party. Happy birthday, Tiger. Can you wish her a happy birthday too? Happy birthday, Tiger. Our next one is another birthday story, and this one is called Wolf's Coming. It was written and illustrated by Joe Kuka. Here we go. Wolf's Coming. Wolf's coming. A distant howl rides the breeze, echoing through all the trees. Hurry, hurry, don't be slow. Follow me. Come on, let's go. A shadowy figure climbs the hill, getting close and closer still. Faster, faster, take my hand. Run back home like we planned. Wolf's coming. Shadows lengthen. It's getting late. The wolf is now outside the gate. Quickly, quickly, get inside. Shut the door. Better hide. The moonlight shines on his fangs. His belly growls with hunger pangs. Closer, closer, next to me. Pull the shade so he can't see. Wolf's coming. Glowing ember eyes appear. Pointed ears strain to hear. Hush now, hush now, not a peep. You must be still like you're asleep. Wolf's here! The front door opens with a creak. The big wolf leans in for a peek. Tightly, tightly shut your eyes. With all your might, yell. Surprise! Laughing, laughing, so much fun. Cake and pizza for everyone. Happy birthday, Wolf. There we go. And our last one is called Bulldozer's Big Day. It was written by Candace Fleming and illustrated by Eric Roman. There we go. Bulldozer's Big Day. It was Bulldozer's Big Day, and he couldn't wait to invite all his friends to his party. Motor humming and blade held high, 
he zoomed bump room across the construction site. Guess what today is, whooped Bulldozer, when he got to where Digger Truck was working. Guess, Digger boomed. I don't need to guess, kid. Today is a scooping day. Scooping, scooping, scooping. And a sifting day, Duck Truck grumbled. Sifting, sifting, sifting. Bulldozer's blade drooped a little. He rolled to where Cement Mixer was working. Guess what today is, called Bulldozer. I already know, Cement Mixer belched. Today is a stirring day. Stirring, stirring, stirring. And Bulldozer's blade drooped a bit lower. He rumbled to where Scraper and Grater were working. Guess what, began Bulldozer. Guess, Scraper rattled. Who has time to guess? Today is a filling day. Filling, filling, filling. And a chopping day, Grater clattered. Chopping, chopping, chopping. And Bulldozer's blade drooped lower still. He bumped to where Roller Truck was working. Do you know what day it is today, asked Bulldozer. No, Roller grumbled. With a hiss of smoke, he huffed away. Mashing day, he muttered. Mashing, mashing, mashing. And Bulldozer's blade drooped so low, it almost touched the ground. He crawled to where Crane Trape Crane truck was working. I don't suppose you know what today is, Bulldozer said with a sigh. Of course I do, Crane clanged. You do, asked Bulldozer. His blade rose, hopefully. It's a lifting day, Crane banged. Lifting, lifting, lifting. And this is my sixth and last. Woot! Woot! The construction whistle blew. Bulldozer turned away his blade dragging sadly in the dirt. No games, he sniffed. No friends. No party. Then, thief! A different kind of whistle blew. Toot, hoot, woo! Lots of whistles blew. Look what it was. What did they make him? You do know what today is, cried Bulldozer. And as his friends revved their engines and honked their horns, Bulldozer raised his blade high and made a wish. Hooray, shouted the others. Then Bulldozer squealed. What are we waiting for? Let's dig in. And they did. Birthday cake is delicious, isn't it? I thought today we could make birthday balloons. It's really, really very easy. All I did was I took cupcake liners and I flattened them out and they're the circles for my balloons. If you don't have any cupcake liners at home, I just cut circles out of construction paper for my pink one. If you have stickers or if you have some sequins and you want to make your balloon sparkly or decorated, you can use those to help decorate your balloons. I just took some ribbons and I tucked them under and glued them down to my paper and I made a birthday balloon banquet. I hope you liked our birthday stories. Till next time, bye-bye.